Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Batliner, and I would like to read another story to you. Today's story is called Samson, the Piranha Who Went to Dinner. Our author and illustrator, he did both things, is Taj Bentley. So not only did he write the story, but he is also the illustrator. Thumb up if you know what a piranha is. Yeah, piranhas are kind of fish, but they have these big, sharp teeth. I just thought this was a great illustration. Remember, this is the dedication page, and it says, For my dear mother dear. Our title page, Samson the Piranha Who Went to Dinner by Taj Bentley. Where do you think this story takes place? Yeah, it's under the water. And why do you think it's under the water? Exactly right, because that's where fish live. So looking at this illustration, does it look like it's under the water? I kind of think it does. It looks like there's some bubbles there. Yeah, I think this is a great illustration. Samson was a rather adventurous fellow. While other piranhas stayed close to home, he wanted to explore far and wide. And while they stuck to the same old routine, Samson liked to get out and try new things. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, look at him ride that bike. What's a bike called that only has one tire? A unicycle, good job. Do you think it's easy or hard for him to ride that bike? I think it's a little bit hard, but look at all his friends. They all like to stay close to home. Excuse me, would you like to play a game of tennis? No. How about a trip upstream? No. Most of all, Samson dreamed of eating fine food at the fanciest restaurants. But while he drooled at the thought of luscious lily linguine and crispy kelp cakes, the other piranhas ate the same boring food day after day. So let's go back to this page just a second. What is it called when you have three of those words? Luscious lily Linguini. Any of my older kids remember? Yeah, very good. Those are alliterations. Can you find an, an, another alliteration on this page? I think so. Crispy kelp cakes. That also is an, an alliteration. So while he dreams of fancy things, if you look there, what are his friends eating? Yeah, they're just eating fish because I can see the fish bones. So every day, Samson ate alone until one morning he saw something he thought might change their minds. Take a look at what he sees. Fishy times, fancy restaurants open today. Fancy restaurants? Opening today, perhaps you gents might care to join me for a, no way, not for me. Silly Samson, a restaurant is no place for a piranha. So boys and girls, why should not a piranha go to a restaurant? Yeah, they get a bad rap just because of how they look and how their teeth are. Perhaps they were right. With their fearsome features and terrible teeth, piranhas weren't really welcome anywhere, let alone in fancy restaurants. So once again, they're getting that bad rap. There's a preconceived view of the way that they look, that they're terrible. OK, 
Okay, so think about that. Do we have different feelings for the way some people look? And do we treat them differently? Yeah, sometimes we do. But Samson, he just wants to go to a restaurant. But he had to try. So Samson set off alone and soon arrived at the first restaurant. He smiled as friendly a smile and approached the waiter. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if I may. Salty mother of mackerel. So do you think that waiter looks pretty happy? Piranha! His friends were right. He couldn't get into a restaurant looking like a piranha. But maybe he could get in looking like something else. He would need a disguise. Samson checked his mustache and fluffed his eyebrows. He could almost taste the luscious lily linguine and the sizzling seaweed sausages. So once again, we have two alliterations in this page. Can you find them? Luscious lily linguine is one of them. And sizzling seaweed sausages, that's the other one. Pardon me, but I believe you have a reservation for Samson P. Rana. Let me see. Of course, Mr. Rana, right this way, please. Samson peered eagerly into the restaurant, and when he saw the plates piled high with crispy kelp cakes and duckweed sauce, he couldn't help but smile a large, very piranha-like smile. What does it mean to smile a very piranha-like smile? Yeah, he's showing his teeth. Scaly Neptune crab cakes! Piranha! And look at all the fish leaving. Samson's smile disappeared as fast as the fish in the restaurant. He couldn't get into a restaurant, and he didn't fit in at home. Samson felt more alone than ever. There was only one more restaurant, one more chance for a fancy meal. This time, he would make sure his costume was perfect. This is it thought Samson. So take a look at him there. Is he disguised well? I think so. I can't see his teeth. He nervously swam to up to the final restaurant. Excuse me, my name is Mr. Rana, and I have a reservation for this evening. Ah... Monsieur Rana, of course. Right this way, please. Is it working? So far, so good. Would you like to sample some creamy crab souffle? Or perhaps some crispy kelp cakes? Samson's mouth watered. Had he finally made it? Please allow me, sir, to take your hat. Samson couldn't believe it. He was, his dream was about to come true. But just then, for the love of smoky sea bass, what do you think the waiter said? Piranha! But this time, as fish scattered this way and that, taking their delicious kelp cakes and souffles with them, Samson realized he wasn't the only fearsome fish who wanted to dine out on fancy food. So do you see what happened? There were other piranha at the fancy dinner as well, but they didn't get caught. 
And with his new friends came a new idea. They would open their own fancy restaurant, one where the food was so good that this time, it wasn't Samson wearing a disguise. So look, boys and girls, they opened a restaurant for piranhas. It's called, can you find the answer to what the restaurant is called? Yeah, Big Bites. So I can see it on the wall there and I can see it on the menus. But if you look, everybody's a piranha. And so look what happens. Look what happens. What did the turtle do? Yeah, the turtle put a shark fin on his back. What about the crab? Yeah, the crab put some horns on his on the back of his shell. And then look at the other fish. Yeah, they're acting like they are piranhas. They're sticking things in so it looks like they have piranha teeth. So Samson didn't need the disguise this time because it was a restaurant for piranhas. But other fish and other sea creatures needed a disguise so that they could get in. The end. So have you ever felt alone where you didn't actually fit in? Your friends like to do some things that you didn't like to do? Or you wanted to go on adventures and your friends did not want to go on adventures? Yeah, that's kind of the way that Samson felt. But did he give up? He did not give up. He had courage. He kept on going. And he also had perseverance. He kept on going. He had three restaurants that he could go to and he tried to get to all three of them. Finally, at the third one, he realized, hey, we could open our own restaurant. All right, so here is what a piranha really looks like. All right, so does it kind of look fierce in that picture? It doesn't really look fierce in that picture, but when you look this way, look at its teeth. Ah, piranha! So could you understand why the other sea creatures were afraid of them? Yeah, it's the understanding that, that piranhas are pretty vicious fish, that they, they go after a bunch of different things in the water, and they rip them and they tear them up with their sharp teeth. Okay, so they kind of get a bad rap. I hope you enjoyed our story, boys and girls. Uh, it's one that I would like you to think about in regards to um, treating others Okay, the way that you want to be treated and not uh, taking anybody for granted or not giving somebody a bad rap because they're too tall or too short or they have too big of teeth. You think they're mean. Give them a chance because maybe that's not the way that they are at all. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you the next time.